Boy, they're giving me all kinds of good ones. Yes, home run cap. Perfect. There we go. That's why I take a look at all these. Nice. And I may be able to... Yeah. Plus five. Punch allow no home runs over your next appearance. Oh, I can do that. Yes, please. Oh, snap. Dang, we're in first place in the division. Early, but still. <laughs> I'm pitching better. My ERA is going down. I've only pitched an inning and a third against the Tigers in my career. Wow. I guess it's, this is an interleague game. Call from so. the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 24. Next up for Detroit, Andrew Vaughn. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're right, only no three outs Here away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at oh, boy. Now, of course, right the down the pipe. That pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty hey. lethargic. Ooh, watching hey, thank you, there in the booth, Blue. Man. Yeah, yeah I would imagine that. it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Andrew Vaughn is sent packing for the first out in the bottom of the ninth. Set to deliver the 0-1. A swing and a ground ball to third. Hard 90, hard Throw 90, on to hard first will be in time, and now the Tigers are down to their final out. Next for the Tigers, Jake Rogers. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Now it's 2-0. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. The set and the two and one pitch. Shot to third. Oh, right to him. Let's go. No home run. That increased my cap again. With that, the Perfect. ball game is over. A five nothing finish nice. tonight. The Padres that's huge, took the lead that cap in the fourth been, and held on until the end. Mackenzie Gore earns his first win of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and so our entire I, crew. I'm Matt Vasgersian. Uh, You've been watching. Choose to retire once I've got the Hall of Fame availability, or I keep playing for some amount of time. now in an awfully difficult situation. It's weird. They already have me like. Almost Nobody at a Hall of Fame out. level. I don't think I'm even close. Stepping in, Lyle Mitchell tree. Maybe that's flew out in his last at bat. In there, strike one. I don't even think I have 100 Lyle saves in my career. I mean, my ear is really good, but. Chopped now to short. Can they get two? Fielded cleanly. One no, there. No. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by his step. And next, it'll be the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Alexi Polero. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Strike 1 to start the at-bat. And he falls behind 0-2. Three runs, four hits. One error for the Tigers thus far. And he looks at a ball, 1-2. and two. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch. In Ooh. a good spot. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. So here's Johan Camargo. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Fastball called for strike two. Boy, I'm getting that up there at 96 now. Like to hit the Doesn't even swing. Why did he swing? And that'll do it. The <laughs> inning is over. Ready for another shot now, Andrew Vaughn. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. 0 and 1 the count. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And it's fouled away. Hey, no outs now. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 0-2 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing now came bad. through the zone. I have the to right think field. he was looking for something Take off that. speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger Take on that, that fastball. Hey, let it fly. Let it fly right here. Ooh, we almost went for it. They love the slider. We're in the seventh inning mm -hmm. with a good finish brewing. 3-1 to one our score. 
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea. Give me like something other than one two. That second pitch. Give me like. Yeah, yeah, try to hold right. back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Striding into the box, Aramis Ademan. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Yeah, flip a coin right here. I don't know what you sit on. Fastball in, then a breaking ball down and away. Pick your spot and go with it. Fouled away. Ready on 0 and 2. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight. We tied it. Uh, we lost it. <laughs> we tied it in the top and we lost it in the bottom. Not a lot of runs put on the board in this one, but here's a guy that found a way to make a difference. He's the top player. Two of the any. Game. We'll take that. I'm gonna have to probably eat up some innings in this game. You're a Jared please. Cannon gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's gonna try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the second oh, baseman, Yassel Antuna. One ball, no strikes to count. Antuna. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Hey, come on, big dog, get your pick. Two balls and a strike That's to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. This is skied into short left center. Grisham comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. The right field Here comes the first pitch. Harrison. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Bader has just over 100 career home runs to his credit. Hey, get him with your best one out, right nobody here. on. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Hey, we got one out here. And another foul ball. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. So here's Michael Chavis now. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Out in front of it, strike one. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Down 0-2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. And a curveball nice swung curve. on and missed, and a great call there as the inning is over. <gasps> I get a plate appearance. Let's go. Now to the plate, the pitcher. Jared I think this is my first. Look at my bat. I only smoked. This is my first plate appearance of my career, I think. Right? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to go stretch. well or not, but we're going to do it. Now a Ooh, right down the line. Look at that. Perfect bunt. Come on, Look at that. Come on. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice that's my, I think that's my first career oh. plate appearance. I could be wrong, though, but... That's All crazy. The start of the inning, and we next to bat will be the first baseman, Ooh, the Jesus game. Aguilar. No I gotta be careful with Aguilar. He's a good, he's a good home run hitter. A good hitter in general. A ball and a strike to the Cardinals' first baseman. At least he was a good hitter when he played for the now. Brewers. I don't know if he's on a high team for this you season. This season's going to be interesting. I don't even know who's on what team. Right That's in real life. There's the good curveball. It's a 60 game short season. For the second time here tonight. So, First pitch on its way. The hard part with the 60 game season, there's going to be teams 
that are not going to be good, that shouldn't make the playoffs, that'll make the playoffs the because of the, the structure of only 60 games. To swing that time, like, and as a result, uh, the example last season was the Seattle Mariners. They were the first team to 50 Popped wins. They didn't even make the playoffs last year. Guzman, after it was all said and done. Right. So you're going to have a team like that. You're going to have a team like the Nationals who won the World Series. Wouldn't have made the playoffs in 60 games last season. So because the record was so plate, bad. So I don't know. It's, on top of one, it they're going to have teams that are going to be cold to start the season, no and their season is going to be strike. over because it doesn't. It Just all matters. The 60 games. There two strikes now. I'm not sure. I think it's safe to say I do like the University of the Eighth. You're going to see, wow, was you know, he behind Cubs fan, we're going to see Kyle Forbert culturally. That's who everybody thinks is going to be in the DH spot. So they go. Coming to the plate now. It's, it's a good thing to have because then it gives players that they the offer them in the field. That like if you got, the last you know, Wilson well, Contreras is a really good day, too hitter, many relievers go he's tired, you know, because he's always behind the plate, you can get a, you know, we'll DH see how he game, and you know, just have to hit and not have to worry about catching. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. And he popped him up. Take it, take it. Guzman will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. The one that a lot of people don't play, like, which I don't really, we'll have to see how it goes out, is the extra inning rule, in where you uh, start with a runner on second base. So how does that work? Is it just whoever you want on your now team, or what? How, you know, there's, right there's going to be some rules to that, I'm sure. how they decide, because, you know, most teams are going to put their fastest player, <laughs> if they're allowed to put whoever they want. But, I don't know. I'm sure there's rules on that, because it's been in the minor leagues uh, already, in previous seasons, last couple seasons, I think. Tough to do much with that one, a swing and a miss. They also announced that Great no minor league situation. seasons will happen. Not even, not, that so the entire minor league system has been canceled for this season. Why did he swing at that? Oh, this one off. that sucks. So we have a minor league team in town I live in. Single A team, gone. but hey, it's still baseball. Right center field. On the run is Ray. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Huge throw. Look at that arm. Wasn't on the line as that much, but it's a good throw. Harrison Bader still again. on the uh, Cardinals. Bader. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Strike one to start the at bat. Ooh, he should have at that. That was a pull the trigger. Two strikes. strikes. I've ever seen that. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Grisham makes the catch to end the. And if I took me out. We didn't even get any runs. <laughs> what did I put? Three innings in? The final innings? score in this ball game. The St. Louis Cardinals innings, came out okay. swinging with a huge first we'll inning. We'll take it. It's a good outing for me. Well. I need Baird a good outing. Gets the win on the mound. That's the last first couple of, of the year. Joining us here this evening, we remind you to please drive home safely. Ladies and gentlemen, Jared Cannon is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Look at my batting average. Holy smokes, that really went down. <laughs> 187 against righties? Thanks. Stepping in and ready for another shot, out, Tyler O'Neill as he'll look to bring home Tyler that O'Neal. time run from second um, with a base hit into the outfield. Of Tyler O'Neill, he played for the uh, single A team that I was in my town. Just got to try and straighten <laughs> so. that one out. Low scoring he's actually still on, I'm surprised he's still on the Cardinals. Six. He's on the Cardinals in real life. At least he was last season. And right field, I think. Curveball no, just no. about rung him up, but it's to two and two. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. Hey, let it fly. Let it fly right here. Now a fastball Oof. as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that gives Nick Schufo a chance here. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Lane Thomas will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. He must have been one run, five hits, and no errors so far. Five hundred batting errors, like. 
this far into the season. I mean, only like a month in probably, but. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Striding in, Victor Reyes. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. 0 and 1 the count. Pulled toward right center How do I field. go from being the closer last year, pitching well, we'll to losing the closer spot this year? Away it to retire the side. <laughs> Jason Guzman is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get... Our closer just blew that save, I believe, right? The one. Wow. Every game has its offensive stars, and in this one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he really Maybe I'll get closer roles in that this one. You see, I looked at our roster. I think we have three closers, including me. So he has to feel pretty good about. Jared Cannon has been summoned from the bullpen, as he'll do so to start the eighth. I'm in the eighth. Number 24. Jared. Ready to begin the eighth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Victor Reyes. Curveball inside corner, drops in for a strike. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Out in I also front think they're going to have a fantasy baseball into the which is weird. I'm, I'm in a league, so I, I guess I'll a swing and a miss. That strike three. <laughs> it's gonna be weird on a people do it, always but. talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth oh, inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Grisham will range well, to his left well. as he tracks this one down so in left center episode. for the second out of the inning. Last episode did not go He's so well. In the pitch. Lying toward Ooh, the alley in drop. left center. Yeah, and this is oh. into the alley and ought to be he won't good get for three. He's too slow. He had more than 56 speed. Yeah, now he'll get into scoring position with two away. All right. We got to pitch a little better than that. The only that feeling of, better than hitting a bomb yeah. is driving one into the gap like that. He Ooh, hustled out of the box knowing he was like scared. But I think he had thought. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to. set to start the ninth in this one and up next to be the power hitting first baseman big Jesus Aguilar Jesus no balls Aguilar. in one strike and he gets him to swing through that one he's in control 0 and 2 fouled off that misses 1 and 2 one ball two strikes and it's fouled away Two and two. <laughs> Gotta make it close. Hey, can't see it. Drive it like you can. Let's go. Uh, he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. Good job going I hate down. Like this. And They're so frustrating. Time. The I usually end up striking the people out, but is a yeah. swing and a miss. That's strike three. <laughs> Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball. Wow. He just hit it by the right end of the bat. Almost the express. Got hit no that. chance wow. to put that ball in play. Crazy. Wheel is back in. Plenty of time to put this away, however. And there are two gone. Now that the center fielder. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. Ooh. High and deep down the left field line. Look at that 2 91. That's getting faster. And that will end up a foul ball. It's still not as fast as I would like Again, it, like velocity-wise, but it's getting there. We're getting our pitches up there. I mean, this pitch used to be the 93, 94 range. Now it's 95, 96 for the four After that high fastball, you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. And he'll step on the bag. even get a run to win the game, or two runs, I should say. Geez, one run doesn't win the game. Nope. <laughs> A single run good enough to do yeah, it today. One nothing. one nothing, the final score. St. Louis.
Ooh. 497. Yikes. Against the Dodgers. Jared Cannon is on the pitch from the bullpen. Now to start on that number here. seven. Number 24. Jared. Next Cannon. up for Los Angeles, Will Smith. So far, two for three in this one. We got for the Dodgers. The catcher. Will. The bouncer to the left yeah. side. And the throw to first yeah. is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. First pitch on First its way. Number 25. Neil Ralph. Six runs, 11 hits, and two errors thus far on the Dodger line score. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Hey, having a B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Neil Rush here coming off the bench. Hello. Two in the top half. Why is he on the bench? And he's carrying a batting <laughs> average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Six runs, 11 hits, and two errors thus far on the Dodger line score. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Hit out towards second. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. So now to the plate, Rob McMahon, no, as he rips second. it on the ground to second. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. The Los Angeles Dodgers took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Dustin May earns win number four on the season. They left 10 men on base. Ladies and gentlemen, Jared Cannon has been summoned from the bullpen now, as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 24, Jared Cannon. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Will Smith. Ready with the 0 1. Maybe a favorable call there taken for a strike. Now the Dodgers get a right hander up and throwing in their bullpen. Ray waits on it. One out. Digging in, Neil Rausch. Off for two here to start the afternoon. No balls and a strike to count. We're getting some leaning no calls here by the umpire. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Fouled away. Now a half swing, Oof, but it's strike three hit. anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. Corey Seager will grab a bad hit again. for the pitcher here. Number five. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1, and, and he's got that batting line up near the 300 mark entering play. Lifted the other way to left center, and he Whoa, dives to make a smoke. spectacular a catch. catch. <laughs> Ooh. At the plate, Rob McMahon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. Trying to pick things up where he left off, D.J. Peters. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. In there, no balls and a strike. Oh, and a good tight slider there. He's in command, nothing in two. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Swing and a line drive, but a foul ball. Get your pitch, right here. 
Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Standing in, Mookie Betts. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. And now this crowd of 27,000 plus rise to their feet. Can't get him to chase. It's 1 and 2. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Oh, beat it out, beat it out. Throw to first here will be in time to record the final out, and the Padres will put an end to their three game skid as this ball game is over. Huge Always run. nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Of course, we're having a good season. Watch me get traded because I requested a trade. <laughs> be, be my luck. Per nine hits per nine slider break. So, we got any good cap increases? Yes, please. Any of these hits, K's, or walks per nine that can increase, I'm gonna increase because so I can get the actual attributes later. Here we go. He wants you to allow no hits over your next appearance. That's gonna be hard, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, because no, in my luck, I'll have like a three inning appearance, but maybe not. Hopefully I can just get one ending appearance. It'd be great if I could just get one bad appearance. <laughs> There's nobody out, so I'm probably pitching the full inning, presumably. Your Jared lead. Cannon gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Well, my ERA is really calmed down. Cannon. Ready to okay, go this for the camera last half of so the inning. And out. in the bat next, one Ready of the go. fastest Ready players in all of baseball, Harrison Bader. The 0 1 pitch. Breaking ball and a good one on the corner to make it 0 2. After falling down 0 2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. There's no way I'm triple up on it. And he fouls this one off. Here comes another 0 2. And yes. a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big the strikeout, bad. keep that the guy off the base. I like this. Dylan yeah. Carlson comes on with one oh. gun. As dumb as it is, it's like super Strike zoomed out. One. Fastball, and he's quickly and in the works. hole, 0 and 2. Hey, as a hitter right Ooh. here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half. But nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. Fouled off. And it's fouled away. Now another 0 2. To short, one. hit hard. He's right there. On to first, and there were two down. So here's Michael Chavis now. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now the 1 0 is swung on and missed, strike one. Five runs, 12 hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. A ball and two strikes now. Lucky he got a piece right there. He would there we go. No hits we'll allowed. Let's go. There as this is Don't strike put me out there in the eight, that please. <laughs> That'd be my luck. They'll make me pitch another inning. Oh my gosh. I'm still out there. Duh. Bottom of the inning now. Be my luck. I'm trying to get a, no, no, no hits allowed. And I have to pitch a second inning. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. De Young hey. in an 0-2 oh, so. hole here. Hey, plays out one right Can't here. say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches Ooh. were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So this guy's only three for seven. Let's see the He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate, and that's inside for a ball, one and zero. Oh. And they uh, won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's two and zero oh now. 
Jesse, you want to talk about being in a zone. This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his now. pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Five runs, 12 hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. He stays alive, still two and two. Fouled away. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Got him to go down swinging there. Nick Prado goes down for out now number two in Andrew. the bottom half. Andrew. Out in front of it, strike Andrew. one. Two outs, let's get out of here. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on and lifted hey, in the air. Golden low hit, there. and unless we get five runs, we're not going to have to worry about the bottom of the ninth. It, so and good. he makes the catch for out. Here we go. Well, I'm going to get pinched hit for anyway. Yeah, we're not going to get. <laughs> nice. well, Plus five had hits per night. Drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the Our next one. Uh, five hits per nine nothing finished finish tonight. 84 overall. Oh. About to hit 85, which is a diamond. Oh, snap. I think really what's been killing McKenzie me is my Gould. caps. I couldn't increase any of my caps, so they've just been stationary for so long. Now that I'm getting the caps up, I can the stats will go start going up. No.